everybody, it's Mrs. Holmes again. Welcome vinyl students. Today we are going to create an easy elephant. Keyword being easy. We are going to just take some shapes and make it into a complex object. Simple shapes, making it into something that looks not so simple. So we're gonna start off, I'm gonna use a marker. I highly suggest that you use a pencil because there is some erasing involved. I won't be able to erase this marker, but I want you to be able to see it. Sometimes when I do these videos, if I do it in pencil, it's a little bit too light. So the areas that you're going to erase, I'll probably cover with paper in a little bit. So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll start off with a oval body. So it's an oval slash circle. It's not a super skinny oval like an ellipse, but it's not quite a circle either. So this is going to be our oval body. Attached to that, actually overlapping that, we are going to make a circle head. Notice the size difference. This is at least twice the size as this. So we got a big body, medium sized head. On the side of the head, we're going to make some lines. Think of this as a pizza slice, but the top of the pizza is gone. So it's a little bit wider out here and it gets skinnier as it goes in towards this head. Same thing here. These are going to be our ears. And then we also have to put some legs on there. So let's make a little rectangle for the front legs. And then for the back legs, let's put a little hint of a back leg there. Do you see that tiny little hint of a back leg? That's all we need. A uh, little tail, and we can make a line, a little tail there in the end, little furry bits. And then of course we need the trunk. So I'm just going to make a curve. Start from, here's the middle, right? So it's a little bit higher up than the middle. I made a little curve going up this way. And then I will do the same thing on the bottom making sure that it's skinnier as it gets towards the top. And that's going to be the trunk. Tiny little mouth in this section. And then we can make an eye. He can be happy with his eyes closed like that, or we can make a circle on top with a little line like so. And he can look like he's very happy. Now, I've got all these extra weird lines. This would be the part where you would start to erase some stuff. You put a little wrinkles in there for his nose. Now the parts that we don't need anymore are any of this intersecting stuff in the head. So what I'm gonna do, and it's gonna be kind of strange, because I'm gonna cover this up with some paper because I can't erase my marker, but I'll cover that up just a little bit because I don't want to see that line. You would be erasing yours. And sometimes when you have all those extra lines on your paper as you're drawing, it's confusing, but they are necessary. They're important to have because they're called guidelines. Those guidelines can help you to figure out where to put the important stuff, which is really helpful. All right, so I've covered that up somewhat successfully, not too bad. I'll go ahead and put a little bit of paper separating the legs from the body. So I'm just ripping this. I'm guessing the size, seeing if I can make it work. Not too bad. One thing I did forget was the little elephant toes. You know how elephants have those cute little toes or toenails, whatever those are? We'll have to put those in there too. So I'll pause for a second and go ahead and one, two, three. Think of a letter M with an extra hump on it. One, two, three. And then let's see, what else do we need to get rid of? Don't need this line here in the trunk, the headline. So we'll get rid of that. And then finally, the ear and the trunk line, we'll get rid of that too. So right now I have a Frankenstein picture but this is gonna be so much easier for you because you're doing it in pencil, right? Right. Make him a little bit more happy. Maybe I'll color in his mouth. And whatever else you wanna add. Maybe some toes back there. But that is a quick and simple elephant. All we did 
was we had an ovaly shape with a circle shape, these modified triangles, and some curves for lines. And that is it, rectangles for the feet too. So check it out. Please ignore the paper part because that, like I said, you're being a good student using a pencil like I told you to, right? Here is our elephant. E, L, E, P, H, A, N, T. Easy elephant. Sign your name to it. Of course, I am Mrs. Holmes. And it has been a pleasure to draw this easy elephant with you. I hope you have some really adorable results. Color it in. Maybe draw some extras around it to make it unique. Maybe he's holding a umbrella. It's been raining the past few days, so why not? Or maybe he's holding something else. Or put him in a scene. Maybe he's walking a tightrope and he's in the circus. Have fun with it. Do some fun stuff with your easy elephant. I hope it was easy. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you soon. Have fun. Keep creating. And I will keep creating too. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.